Good afternoon. On behalf of our presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Hugi, I address you all and indeed all Nigerians on the current situation in the country following the announcement of the purported results of the presidential election held on 25th February. 2023. First, let me sincerely thank all Nigerians for their belief in us and for coming out en masse to vote for the Labour Party and for the force they believe in, the birth of a new Nigeria. We are immensely grateful to the youth obedience and all support groups including Nigerians in diaspora for their sacrifices, conduct and commitment to a better Nigeria. It is our position that the purported results did not meet the minimum criteria of a transparent, free and fair election. In addition to the most condemnable attacks violence, voter intimidation, and suppression, the election was conducted in clear violation of agreed and promised annex rules and guidelines. The Electoral Act 2002 as amended, and indeed the Nigerian Constitution. As evident, the institutions of the state and leaders that were supposed to ensure the sanctity of the election, again, and as in the past collaborated and colluded to subvert the will of the good people of Nigeria. Please be assured of our determination to fight the injustice that have been perpetrated on Nigerians through all legal and peaceful means. While painful, 
we implore you all to please remain peaceful and calm, as our fight and determination for a new Nigeria is just beginning. We equally encourage you all to continue with the campaigns and vote massively for Labour Party in the forthcoming governorship and state's House of Assembly elections on 11th March 2023. Our principal, His Excellency Mr. Peter Ode, will in due course speak to you and indeed the nation. Thank you and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. So, Peter Thank you very much, sir. Um, I have two questions, if my colleagues will permit me. The first one being, why isn't uh, Mr. Pitobi addressing this press conference? I mean, we hear that um, he's... Um, he, this is a prelude to his addressing the nation. That answers your question. Fair enough. Secondly, you're calling on your... Uh, you denounced the election. Yes. You, know, you said they were not free and fair, yes. yet you're calling for your supporters to go out on mass and vote in the next election. I mean, is it the same process? Until it happens, we don't know it. We cannot sit Nigerians, we cannot tell Nigerians not to vote, not to be part of Nigeria anymore. If you sit in your country and you don't vote, you don't belong to your country. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned uh, legal action. Can you, can possible legal action? Can you detail? No, certain legal action. Certain, okay, certain legal action. Could you detail if it's certain? Can you tell us more when exactly you're, you're planning to go to court and on what grounds exactly? We will go to court within the stipulated time. Within the stipulated time. And uh, the legal team is at work already. And you'll get more details from His Excellency Peter Abiy when he speaks. Like I said, this is a prepare you to do this speech. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I write for the Guardian. John Akubo is in. <clears throat> you were calling on supporters to go out and march on Saturday. Don't you have some fear for Lagos? Governorship election in Lagos. If the presidential election was what it was, how would the governorship be for your supporters? As far as we are concerned, the Federal Republic of Nigeria and, and its institutions are in place and in effect. As far as we are concerned, we, are, we shall con still continue to hold the Buhari administration to the promise of free and fair elections. That is the best that we know. Nigerians must, just like we are continuing the struggle, Nigerians must continue the struggle by exercising their rights. Uh, yes, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, Kingsley Daily Independent. Many Nigerians believe, of course, they have valid reasons to believe so, that uh, the judiciary has been compromised, like other arms of government. How much confidence do you have that if your matter, if your case gets to the Supreme Court, you will get justice in return? Irrespective of the low level of confidence you have in the system, your responsibility is your responsibility. Nigerians contested the 2023 presidential elections through Peter Abi and my humble self. Uh, we are going to keep the struggle alive, irrespective of the very low confidence we have in any system. We had extremely low confidence in the promise of the government that they are the free and fair elections, yet we went ahead. We went ahead into the elections. So um, it doesn't matter how low the confidence it is in the judiciary, the law is the law. And when, what's even, look, there's a confidence we have in them, and there's a confidence we have in ourselves and in our case. These are two different things. The confidence we have in ourselves and in our case is that elections, so to say, were not held. Because from the polling units, the Electoral Act 2002 as amended provided the direct transmission of results. It is that transmit, direct transmission of results that says elections were held. They were not transmitted. 
what results are you given? If there are no results, what election are you talking about? Now, going to the registration areas or what collection units, no INEC returning officer, he or she, shall make entries without making reference to the existing ongoing concurrent IREV, active IREV, which did not exist. How did they collate? If there was no valid collation, what results are you talking about? If there are no results, what election are you talking about? Illegality has been performed. And as far as we're concerned, here is an incoming government for the Federal Republic of Nigeria that is illegal and unconstitutional. As far as we're concerned, it is now for the, we're submitting our case to the court, court of law. It is for them, irrespective of how much confidence the world or Africa or Nigerians have in them, irrespective, it is for them to show again that level of confidence. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, any more? Uh, yes, there is a follow up to this. Else. All right, sorry. My name is Beatrice Kosa from Voice of Nigeria. Some Nigerians are worried against uh, when you rejected this, uh, when you reject the outcome of this election. Will you support them to go into protest against this result? No, yes, I'm sorry. Did you listen to my yes, answered it. And what really is the motive behind posing this question yet over again? Um, if I may read it again, just for the record, which we will submit to you, while he's opening it, um, no amount of questioning will ever get Peter or me or myself or any agent of the Labour Party or obedience whatsoever to ever preach anything besides peace and tranquility in Nigeria. We also ask Nigerians to continue to exercise their civic duties like we just did now with the um, upcoming elections. I have said that democracy belongs to the people who can practice it. Nigeria should continue to make efforts to practice democracy. Um, we, the only language we know is peace. That's the only language. If Nigerians are going to uh, achieve peace through peaceful protests, welcome. Okay. Uh, any more questions? Yes. Uh, my name is Ali Ahmed. Okay. I'm from Voice of Nigeria. Just a very quick one. How is Mr. Peter going to be doing? In what state of mind is he right now? He is better than one could ever imagine. He is <laughs> cheerful. He is hearty. He is healthy. He is strong. And what is more, he and I are even believing more and more in Nigeria and the Nigerian people. Here we are. Our movement is less than eight months old. And we won elections in the Federal Republic of Nigeria where they have had, where they have had an eight-year concurrent government. As far as we are concerned, we won this. They refused to upload results. They refused to refer to IREF just for them to defeat us. It took a serving government, illegality and constitutional breach to defeat Peter Abe and my humble self. I tell you we're winners. Nigerian people are winners. Nigerian people are winners. And Nigerian nation is waiting for a day that Peter Abe and myself will through the rigors of illegal, illegality and unconstitutionality, get to power somehow one day. Okay. I, I wanted to draw attention. Yesterday, the Senate debated on the issue of the coalition. There was disagreement. Finally, the Senate president tried to redefine what they did in the Electoral Act, as it has to do with the transmission, that what they passed was not exactly to transmit from the polling units that it, it, what they passed was to be done manually. I don't know whether he was redefining it. Um, can I, can I, uh, I, I, I plead not to, uh, you know, the gentleman you're referring to, the Senate President, even though I'm a Senate, uh, I was a former Senator, and uh, believe in our integrity, this gentleman, uh, as far as we're concerned, 
he contested presidency, and then now is an elected senator, re um, returned by the Supreme Court, and you cannot contest two offices. Mm -hmm. the for in the same election, you cannot. It is on record he contested presidency. Supreme Court now says he's senatorial candidate, and then he sits as Senate president to give us this kind of uh, opinion. Um, um, uh, it is very, very difficult for me to say this, but I will have to say it. Such an irresponsible person must never be listened to. The last, the last, and I'm done. Okay. The last, um, if you don't mind, the last, okay, please. The last. Uh, uh, again, Kingsley Daily Independent newspapers. Uh, the People's Democratic Party agents, like your uh, party agents and another party agents, walked out of ICC yesterday. Uh, the day before yesterday. They, the day before yesterday, pardon me. They've been threatening fire and brimstone. I don't they, know that. I they, don't know. My I, question to you. No, no, no. I don't know that. I don't know that. I have never had any threats whatsoever since this began. Okay, I have be, never had any threat whatsoever. And anybody who is Contemplating the use of such language will never face me or Peter with such things. Okay, moving on, sir. Moving on. The question is, uh, what what is the plan to team up with this other party no. and go to court no, or we not? We went, we went into the election as Labour Party. We won, we won the election as Labour Party. We are going to claim our mandate as Labour Party. The rescue Nigeria as neighbor party. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, well, just so that our colleagues will understand the nature of the row, just introduce some people to the side of the session. So we have uh, to the immediate left the Director General of our campaign, Aki Oshitoku. Uh, next to him as uh, Alaji Audi Mohammed, of the, uh, one of our uh, party functionaries. Let me just come to this side. Uh, Obaze Oseloka, Ambassador Obaze Oseloka, he is the campaign manager. And then to his side, two former ministers, Fidele Jeze and uh, this is Esther Nelaki Usman. I think, uh, well, very importantly, uh, you see, as we are in this party, we are offering a new kind of leadership. If you look behind you, there, this is se a senator elect, a senator and then a senator elect. <laughs> senator Victor Umen. You see, this is the kind of leadership we want to offer. He does stand with everybody else. We are not saying, oh, distinguished, you must sit, you, you know, so this is how it is. So, Your Excellency, thank you very much. We appreciate your speech. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm sure many of you are just full call If we have any other things to say, we'll get back to you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh,